We all have unproductive areas of the garden just like this where the ground and the soil is compacted and really poor and when we plant in it well the harvests aren't very good. So what happens is that we end up allowing the weeds to take over and we don't do anything with it. Well I'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to be this way and in this video I'm going to sort this area out and I'm going to turn it back into a productive area of my garden. I'm Tony O'Neill and this is Simplify Gardening. Now I could turn over this entire area and break up the compaction that's in the soil then add loads of organic matter and I would have to be very careful of the asparagus bed that I have here that we don't disturb that but that's a huge amount of work and I'm not getting any younger. So the quick answer for me to get this area productive again would be to place raised beds here. And that would also enable me to control the quality of the soil that's in those raised beds, giving me better produce. And undoubtedly, it'll help me with my back and knees as I get older. A while ago, I showed you how to build these two raised beds with timber and corrugated sheeting. But here I'm going to be placing two raised beds and that's where my friend Kevin from Epic Gardening comes in. Some of you may be aware of Kevin's channel Epic Gardening and you may have even seen him on this channel where we did a video together. And Kevin will be coming back very shortly in another video where he's going to be giving you some more insightful knowledge. Now Kevin has warehouses all over the US that supplies the very best gardening products and he's just opened one in the UK and that's got me quite excited because Kevin stocks these. These are birdies raised beds. Birdies, well they're the world's uh, original and leading metal bed manufacturer and they have been going now for 13 years producing these beds and they are of the highest quality. These long lasting beds, well, they have the most configuration standards. This one will go eight into one bed. So it has eight different configurations. They are really good quality. They have a good quality coating and you can get them in lots of different sizes and, and color options, which is fantastic. Now I asked Kevin to send me a couple of beds for this area and I wanted them tall because of future plans I have for them. And the great thing about these is if I change my mind later, I can just alter the shape of them. I can get them lower or higher. It doesn't really make a difference. And uh, having that sort of capability is a massive plus in my book. So I'll give you more on the beds a little bit later, but for now, let's go and get this area prepped. I've got to rip out these old little raised beds that used to be a strawberry bed, and we need to get off all this weed here, level the ground a little bit, and put a membrane down. And then when we have that, we can look at building these beds. All eight in one bed kit includes four corner panels and six side panels, a pack of bolts, nuts and washers, a bracing kit, vinyl safety edging, hand wrench or spanners and an instruction manual. I chose the mist green colour as you can see but they come in multiple colours to suit any garden. Let's get these built and see how they look. So these were really easy to put together. However, what I will say is that ideally you should be 
having two people to do it with the tall ones. And the reason for that was I couldn't quite hold the head on the bottom of the screw on the last one and do it up. Now, if you've got longer arms than me, you might be able to reach. Um, but if you've got two people, one can be holding on the other side, on the outside, while one's on the inside, you know. Um, they went together really easy though. Uh, all I've got to do now is just go through and tighten up the bolts with them. And I've got to build the second one, but I'm running out of time today. But I just wanted to show you the, the quality of these. They're really strong. Now what birdies do say is it should be on a level base and this isn't quite level. We're on a slight incline here and it should be placed on a, a base of about two inches of gravel to allow it to drain so that you don't rust out the bottoms even though the um, galvanized steel and it's painted as well so you shouldn't really have that much of a problem and here I have quite uh, gritty soil so it tends to drain really well anyway um, but I'm sure you can see a little bit of tightening up now and this will be a fantastic growing bed with that bracing kit, they're really strong and these are made from cold rolled steel and they have um, an alu zinc paint on them as well. So they're coated in that. It's gonna really last a long time. And that's really important because in really bad weather conditions like I get here with all the rain and snow and everything else and the wind, it's important that these things will be able to stand up to that. And they look really, really beautiful in the garden as well. I really like them. The galvanization process is three times stronger than the cheap copycat sort of other competitors. And the great thing about it is the powder coating will last food grade safe as well. So you really are getting the best of both worlds here. If like me, you have areas of your garden that are not productive and you want to make them productive again, then consider looking at some of these birdies raised beds because they are really good quality and they are built to last. You may not need them as high as I want them, but I have purchased these ones for a particular job. Now these are available all over the USA and the UK now as well, which is absolutely brilliant. So don't settle for cheaper sort of knockoff brands. Get birdies because they really are the best out there. They've been around the longest and they've been able to sort out all of the issues that have arisen over the years. So the beds that you're buying now are years worth of experience going into them in all sorts of gardens. Now, I will leave links to Kevin's YouTube channel and to his website where you can buy these. And if you use code SIMPLIFY in the checkout process, you'll get a 5% discount off them. And that's thanks for Kevin for providing that to us. Now, not as beautiful as the birdies beds. These are ones I built a few months ago and they are really good for being in the garden. And if you want to see how I built these, then this is the next video that you should watch. I'm Tony O'Neill. This is Simplified Gardening, where I show you how to garden in a simpler way. Remember, folks, you reap what you sow, and I'll see you in the next one.